screen jump! Okay, so we're in our third lockdown here in Blighty. And of course, it's a very exciting thing to be part of. Everyone has a great sense of national pride in that. We're all in this together. And not forgetting, the government did everything they could to prevent this happening. I'm shaking hands continuously. I was at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Uh, you'll be pleased to know. And what better way to celebrate our national lockdown than to have a film locked down to really remind us of exactly what's going on out there but done with comedy effect all right so why have i got a problem with this film well it's for two reasons number one i don't need to watch a film about lockdown i'm fucking living it i don't need to watch a film about something similar to my life to validate it number two they're trying to steal a three million pound diamond now what are you going to do with that diamond you're going to sell it who are you going to sell it to some drug dealer the underworld it's supposed to be a light-hearted comedy. I don't, no one ever thinks these things through. But anyway, it was only a matter of time before someone did a lockdown film. There's probably gonna be about 200 more coming up this year. And this one's got um, her from stuff and matey from 12 Years a Slave. Oh, and Gandhi. It is time you left. So I was watching the trailer and I thought, you know what, th this isn't for me. So I was gonna turn the trailer off. And then it showed this street and I thought, you know what? I know that street, it's in London. And it turns out, I don't know that street. It just looks like a load of streets that I've seen in London. But there's nothing like a familiar looking location to get you on board in a film. Because you've seen it in real life and now you're seeing it through a camera. And this becomes more valuable to you because you're not seeing it with your real eyes, you're seeing it through some glass. And Americans love that kind of thing. It's like, ah, oh, look, I'm from, Alabama, where it's racist. Oh, I'm from Alabama, where it's racist. Oh, look, woo, high five, yeah, yeah. Like in Avengers, when you got all the Captain America and, and all these superheroes fighting in their streets, I bet you miserable, horrible New Yorkers were actually quite excited because they got to see their streets on TV. I'm walking here, I'm walking here. Up your shoes, son of a bitch, you don't talk me that way, get out of here. Uh, we don't really have anything like that. We just have people driving about and, and traffic. But actually, I'd be totally happy with a film where they just drive around London and we get to see the streets. Like, when I watched Locke, the Tom Hardy film, it was great because I got to see the motorway that I have travelled down. I got to see junctions that I myself have exited many times over the years on the M4. And I like that film because uh, he's Welsh in it. And he's like, oh, I'm from Wales and I'm Tom Hardy driving down the motorway. And I got someone pregnant, although I'm married to Olivia from Peep Show, so I can't deal with the concrete, it'll have to wait. So looking at the trailer, start the trailer, they're on a, a Zoom conversation and we're all having Zoom conversations. So immediately this is very relatable. You know, you think I'm so happy and normal. No, I, I'd never accuse you of being happy and normal. Oh, and that's good editing for the trailer. Some uh, nice punchy bits that we're gonna see in the film, even though we'll have then seen the joke already, but never mind. I've been furloughed. He's been furloughed, we're all getting furloughed. We know what furloughed means. Wait, how many asses have you got? Piss off. See, now that's how you say ass. It's not ass, it's ass. And then the guy responds, piss off. And that's a perfectly reasonable, uh, not very offensive swear in England. And he's got too much toilet paper and we all had too much toilet paper. Is that a glass of wine? Yes, yeah. Stuffy English woman, yeah. We've got loads of them here. They practically run the economy of London. Westfields, yep, yeah, been there, bought stuff. This is brilliant. I feel like I'm in the film. Zoom, lockdown, furlough, interracial. They're doing everything right. So initially, when you watch the trailer, you think this is gonna be one of those stupid relationship films. And oh, they're in lockdown and they're stuck together and they have arguments and then they come together and then their relationship's brilliant and because they're at the next level. But it's not about that, it's about nicking a three million pound diamond from Harrods. We're talking about stealing a diamond, three million pounds. Stealing a diamond, they've gone for that old chestnut. I think there's a, a film nearly every year about stealing a diamond. And it's not only the fact that they're stealing a diamond, it's the fact that this film now propagates the idea of bullshit that diamonds are of value when they're not. It's just a scam that dates back to 
the twenties or something, where women were convinced they should have a diamond wedding ring. Who'd have thought a month ago we'd be doing this? I wonder if that person in the lift was just an extra and then they gave her a line. Because when I work with Tom Cruise. Anyway, extra work means fuck all in the end. So that's a trailer for this shit film. And if you're anything like me, you'll have a look at the comments underneath. And I like to do it because I want to see if anyone agrees with me or they're a, a moron, which they usually are. So let's have a little scroll down. Radian, the whole thing with people pulling down their masks to talk had better not go unremarked upon, or else I'm going to end up hating these characters far too much to enjoy the film. Got some uh, high moral standards there, Radian. Seth Donut, spoilers. They won't get away with the steel, but they will learn that the real diamond was the bedrock of trust in their relationship. Ah, oh. Stalker 101. This trailer is the living embodiment of the swerving bus meme. What's a swerving bus meme? Let me look that up. Oh, is that that guy? Oh, oh, oh. I've never seen this one. Oh dear. Okay, he's saying it's a bit of a crash of a film. Fair enough. Psy A. Netflix, death of 2020. HBO Max, hold my beer. Pappas, I dread the period after COVID where all books, movies and shows will be about this. You and me both, mate. You and me both. The Three Spirit. Well, they chose the right city. Nobody does lockdown long like London. Smiling D. Why don't you fuck off, all right? We're all stuck here in this shit. It's not our fault. We've got a twat government who don't know how to do anything properly. Varnica Kai. One of the greatest titles in the world is parent. And one of the biggest blessings in the world is to have parents to call mum and dad. What? Why do people stick this shit in the comments? What's that got to do with anything? Fuck off, Varnica. Vessel NG. Wait a minute. This is not what I thought it would be. I'm intrigued. Vinny Fatstacks. Why does she live with her Uber driver? Boom. Got ya. Because he's black and only black people drive Ubers. Yeah, Vinny, you are on the button. Spot on, mate. Spot on. Ashish Sunny says, well, never have I ever seen a plot twist like this in a trailer. Well played count me in. Sheesh, I think you've lived a very sheltered life. Oh, HBO Max, I cannot wait for you to launch in India. I love all of your content. Ajax 201, Ocean's 19. I'm going to thumb up that, mate. Yeah, you got them. Well done, Ajax. All right, if you watched the film and it was good, leave a comment telling me that I was wrong and then we can have a, a long comment argument because I still think it's shit, even though I haven't seen it. And if you watched it and it was a complete waste of your life, then also please write in the comments and that will vindicate me and then we can be sort of best mates over the internet if you like. Subscribe to the channel and click the notifications and you'll get a new video every week. In fact, you'll get two because I do another series on Attack on Titan, which is an anime. And if you're not watching that, then there's something wrong with you. That's it for now. See you later, you twats.